Okay, so in this part right here, we can see that we need right now to segment our uh, data. We already have the continuous recording inside of that trial, and we have sensors by samples. But to do something interesting with the data, we need to know the exact place of our cues or markers. So we need to know the beginning of every trial, such that we can now separate the trials of left hand motor imagery from right hand motor imagery and start doing different analysis on that so as we said we got uh, four seconds of uh, uh, of motor uh, imagery or four seconds for the trial itself so um, what we are trying to do here I'm defining another struct it will be data called the data and I'm just defining the trial length four seconds. What I'm doing here, I'm accessing this mark.pos, which is the position of the markers. So each one of them is representing the sample of the marker. So at this particular sample in time, there is a marker that was presented. So we can imagine that what we need to do, we need to cut four seconds after each of these uh, samples. So what I'm doing here, I'm defining something called onsets. So onsets is actually uh, taking these positions and just putting them as columns. And the trick here that I am doing is that I'm trying to repeat this matrix. So basically, the first element will be uh, this uh, value here. And then I'm repeating this value inside uh, of each column so I'm just repeating this in all columns and we will know why because I'm I'm trying to put um, like I'm trying to create a matrix with all the indices such that I access uh, my data my continuous data once with the needed indices and just execute everything at once so we will see that so if I, if I executed this what this will will do it will create because we know that we get uh, by the way we get 200 uh, trials we will be having 200 by uh, 4 seconds uh, activity because in this data set the, the sampling rate is 100 sample per second so we can say if it's 100 per second and we need 4 seconds of activity that will be 400 uh, sample so if we go to onsets basically again I'm, I was taking this um, this column and I was, I was just taking the row and I put it as column and then I repeated this first column uh, here for all of these columns until I finish all the time points which is uh, 401 and also I'm doing this dynamically because of the sampling rate is not is not fixed so basically I'm just multiplying the trial length of 4 by the by the sampling rate 1 and because we are starting from 0 so I, I needed to add 1 uh, to this so I'm just repeating this uh, once I'm not repeating this for rows I'm just repeating this for columns and this is what Mat will do so here it will see how many times you need to repeat this and I um, don't need to repeat this in the row uh, dimension I just need to repeat this uh, in the time dimension to get uh, the total number of uh, time points and after that I'm doing uh, something else I'm taking uh, a vector from 0 until the the size of onsets the second uh, dimension which is uh, 401 so if we evaluate this small part it's from it will take us from uh, 0 until 401 or 400 and I wanted to sum uh, a value to this so this will be summed to 0 and this is to 1 and this is to 3 and so on so I'm basically summing this let's say index to each one of them because I need uh, this matrix of onsets or actually this uh, this is the matrix of indices I need it to be uh, increasing because that's the index I need to 
access the next index uh, to this one so um, I'm creating this vector and then I'm repeating this vector now in the row dimension so um, we can actually like put this inside another variable to make it easier to see so I'm expecting this to be from 0 to 400 and it's repeated in the rows uh, dimension so it will be like that that's what we are creating here from 0 to 400 and it's repeating in the rows and then I'm summing this to onset so if we execute this we can see that now onsets are now uh, just incrementing uh, like that and then I'm accessing this loop and what this is doing um, is that we are creating our golden tensor so as we discussed before our golden tensor will be having a trial by channel and uh, time uh, dimension so we basically uh, need to create our uh, golden tensor which is the tube or the or the tensor that we always uh, talk about it's like this so we can imagine that we have 3d cube like this or a 3d tensor we said that this will be uh, representing trials and this will be representing channel and this will be representing time so we need this actually to be a uh, present with us uh, all the time we need to keep uh, thinking about this uh, all the time when we are handling these uh, dimensions so um, okay so right now we are at this uh, line so what we are doing now is that instead of that the trial which was yes exactly it was a channel by uh, samples I need to take the first uh, reading from the first sensor and take all of that inside of this uh, temp variable so I'm basically accessing the first row and I'm taking uh, all the rings from that inside temp such that it will be one by uh, samples and then what I'm doing I'm using onsets because now onsets onsets got the um, indices of our uh, data of interest I'm now accessing this so when I take temp of onsets this will give me a 200 by um, 401 um, data samples and I will be putting them inside the reading of this sensor so basically the first channel because imagine that we are accessing this that's the reading from the first sensor but if we imagine this this actually is like um, a slice in this tensor so it's like a, a slice going here because it has all the trials and it has all the time as well but it's just coming from one sensor this sensor right here so we can think of this as a trial time slice and just one sensor so let's uh, drop the sensor it will be trial time uh, matrix so right here we are putting this trial time matrix in its respective uh, position in its respective channel so um, now we will have a 3d tensor representing our data and it will be exactly 200 trials by one sensor because we just put one sensor and it will have all the time points and now let's place a breakpoint here and I don't want to continue with this loop I will just go for another iteration so I pressed F3 to step to the next line because this is a loop we are going to the next uh, iteration and temp will now read from I equals to which is the second sensor and it will put it in the second uh, sensor uh, dimension so this will be uh, in this place so if this is our second sensor it will be basically handling this slice right here this trial time slice I'm putting the data in our 
second sensor. So we can see that after executing this line, we now have had the data in our second sensor. So and instead of just going um, in this loop, I will just press F1. So I will continue until the next breakpoint that I just placed. And we can say that it's done, basically. And our data is now uh, having all the 59. Uh, sensors. So right now we have our good uh, tensor, which is uh, nice, and we can uh, create our time dimension. So what I want to do right now is that now that we have data, this struct, it contains uh, the tensor, our 3D tensor, we need to define each of the dimensions. So basically I need to define this trial dimension I need to put some information about it, like what is the class label? Was it right hand or left hand? Like the trial, was it right hand or left hand? So I need to put some information to describe this dimension of trials. I need also to put some information to describe this dimension of the channels. I also need some information to describe time. So to describe time, we need this line so what this does it will take us from zero and will step again as we said before uh, by one over the sampling rate but right now we will stop until uh, four seconds so basically we are creating a time dimension you can look at this a time dimension it's defining our time a dimension so if we access this it will take us from zero until the end and each one of them is the actual time uh, that we have and I will also be copying the labels inside data dot label so right now we get 59 labels describing or defining each of our uh, sensors and we have another one which is sample info sample info is 200 by 2 and it's basically the beginning and end of every of every uh, trial so um, uh, it's just this one plus 400 and it might be handy in some analysis as we will see and in this one I was just taking the original positions putting them as columns and then I was summing to this I was adding uh, 4 uh, multiplied by the sampling grade which is the number of actual samples in the trial and after that I'm just copying the the labels so mark that y is uh, having the the labels of every trial because we get 200 trials so we have a label for every trial so one of them was representing left hand and the other one was representing right hand and just for simplicity for the analysis I was changing the labels from uh, minus one so I was basically checking out that the trial info equals equals minus one so this will give me the indices where they equal uh, minus one and I'm changing this to two so we can look at this and when I execute this each minus one would be two so uh, we can uh, use this later on uh, with this convention because it will be easier for my uh, classification analysis later on but anyway it's just a marker for different uh, activities like the activity of right hand versus activity of left hand and then we are using um, uh, like we are uh, for this example we are just cutting our data and just using uh, some channels so not all of our channels so I'm just uh, putting this to lowercase and I'm putting this uh, inside like my channels of interest that I will be looking at and this is not a necessary step I'm just doing this to simplify the data uh, we put this inside CFG that the channel and then we can uh, after defining this uh, channel of interest uh, variable we can uh, again use field trip to select our data and just select those channels from our struct so I'm passing CFG uh, with the channels of interest and then I'm passing uh, the struct which is data and then we are copying this inside data again so now we have our data 
with just these sensors these 12 sensors so this updated uh, that label the data that label and updated also this dimension and right now we can access our uh, first uh, cleaning code that's a lively vector uh, cleaning code and we can press ctrl D to open the script for that this would be our first uh, function that we will uh, discuss